Turn my headphone down a little bit. Yeah. Hey guys, so today I will be showing you guys what I do throughout the week pertaining to my hair. So right now I'm just showing you the before, you know, super duper dry, old wash and go. I had it in like a slick bun and then I just took it out. So yep, I'm just gonna jump in the shower and just explain what I do. shower just drenching my hair in water you know just to put the shampoo in and stuff like that and yeah that's basically what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna go in with my OGX shampoo and as you can see in the video I have been using this since I first went natural like two years ago their brand I love it so much it just it works for my hair you know so yeah i'm just going through my hair with that and I make sure i'm scrubbing my scalp and detangling my hair because i get a lot of knots in my hair you know so just making sure i get all that out take my purple comb my purple shower comb and if you notice they're white teeth white tooth white I don't know and <laughs> I'm just going over my soup soapy hair with it just to make sure I get all of the tangles and the knots out so yes I not only just finger detangle I make sure that my hair is like completely detangled with the purple comb like just in case i don't use it all the time because it does give me a lot of breakage so yeah i'm just combing it out just rinsing my hair out really good and you see my hair looks so healthy I'm so happy for myself and then I'm gonna take my uh, liquid pearl scent conditioner from OGX as well and this is the only conditioner I trust with my heart besides Aussie moisture which I think I will be using in another video very soon but yeah so I'm gonna take a whole bunch and I'm gonna lather it through my hair like i take a lot because i want to make sure that uh, my hair is like super detangled you know so yes right here i'm showing you guys um that i shed a lot it's just something i don't know but if you guys have like a certain technique that you guys do to stop shedding then let me know but yeah here i'm just continuing to condition my hair really good and i think later in the video a little bit couple seconds i'm gonna go in with a second dish conditioner bottle just because um i ran out of the first one so yeah <laughs> rinsing my hair out now since I put a lot of conditioner in it and usually when I do that um, it leaves my hair super duper soft super detangled you know easy to work with so then after I finish with that I'm gonna go back with um, my charcoal detox conditioner again from OGX and I'm gonna like take a little bit and run it through my hair Looking for a check. So then I'm going to go in with my Jamaican Black Castor Oil Leave-In Conditioner from Shea Moisture and I'm going to take like a generous amount for my hair and just run it through really well and I make sure that I put my head under the water like um, often because it's easier to work with when your hair is dripping wet, you know? And then after that I'm going to go in with my Shea Moisture 
curl enhancing smoothie and then I'm going to take a lot like a whole lot and run it through my hair really well the goal is to make sure that my hair is way down because eventually it's just gonna like absorb it all whatever so yeah that's what I'm doing R.I.P. Pepsi R.I.P. Trayvon A nigga look just like me so Mariah ended up calling me or whatever, <laughs> so I got really mad about that. Anyways, um, so I'm going to go in with my coily custard from Miss Jessie's, and I'm going to put in a generous amount onto my hair. Um, I just love this stuff so much. Like, it defines my curls really well once my hair dries out. But uh, yeah, the disregard the white stuff it's gonna go away once it dries but anyways i'm just running that through my hair you know just by looking at the difference you can see like it really lays my hair down the way that i want it to so that's why i love it so much yeah i sneezed <laughs> now i'm just gonna go in with the other side as well but yeah, like I said, um, the white product that you guys are seeing, it'll go away. You guys won't see it anymore. It's just from day one. But yeah, I'm going to take a shower now. And now I'm out. And I'm just going to go straight in with my Eco Styler Gel. And I'm going to put a lot. Because like I said, the goal is to lay my hair down. I want to weigh my curls down. Because I know it's going to like frizz up and stuff so i want to be able to contain some of that frizz and you guys will see that probably tomorrow or the next two days but yeah that's what i'm doing i'm taking a lot of eco styler and i'm lathering it throughout my hair so yeah let you guys prophesy we gonna see the future first living so the last night feels like a past life Speaking of the don't know what got into people devil be possessor homies demons try to body jump why you think i'm in this bitch so this is the finished look yes i know i look like a wet dog but by like probably like 10 p.m it'll air dry really nice and then yeah well i'm about to go to work and then when i get home i'm gonna show you guys what i do when i go to sleep you know how i wrap it how i oil it and then, yep, I'm carrying on with the rest of the week. All right, bye. Oh, so it's like 10, 40 something, and I'm finally back from work. And as you can see, my hair, it's like 80% dry. It's still kind of wet in some places because of the gel, because I put a lot in it. But for the most part, it's dry. And um, you can see, like, it's shrunk a lot. <laughs> see? So now i'm gonna show you guys my night routine you know how i wrap it and oil it and you know all that so yeah okay y'all so i'm gonna start off with a whole bunch of scrunchies and then i'm gonna do a part down the middle and i'm just gonna start banding my hair all the way down so a lot of people don't understand why I do this and for the most part it's because I have a lot of shrinkage and who likes shrinkage because I obviously don't. So I do the band method every single night. So when I wake up in the morning and I pick my hair out, my hair won't be all, you know, scrunched up and short and stuff like that. I want to be able to show my length and my volume. So doing the band method will give me the results that I'm looking for. And when I wake up in the morning tomorrow and like get dressed and everything, I'll show you guys the results, you know, how I take it out, the process and everything like that. So yeah, I'm just um, banding down my hair all the way until, you know, before my ends you know yeah i don't know <laughs> but i don't do the ends all the way down because um it'll lose the curl pattern at the end so now i'm gonna go with my jamaican black castor oil and put it in my roots 
so you know my hair can grow thick and strong and stuff like that also I've been getting a lot of breakage so I really want to focus around the back of my neck area and also my edges because I have a lot of breakage there from ponytails and braids and things like that so then oh my phone dropped oh no so then i'm going to massage my scalp and go in with some more oil argan oil and dry spray and that is also something that you'll see me use a lot throughout the week just to moisturize my hair you know and then i'm gonna tie my hair and then i'm gonna throw a bonnet on and this is when i look crazy but it doesn't matter so you guys will see me in the morning okay y'all good morning um just got out the shower and i took my headscarf off and now i'm just gonna jump straight into taking off the rubber bands off of my hair um my hair is about like 95 percent dry my roots are still kind of wet because of the eco starlet gel that i put in it but other than that it's pretty cool so yeah, I'm just making sure that I don't just pull the scrunchies out of my hair because like, what if you're ripping your hair out and you don't know it? So I do the easy way, <laughs> the safe way. <laughs> and then I just take it out that way. fluffing my hair out really good as you can see and then I'm gonna grab my pick now this is like the key component to a wash and go because it adds the volume that you want the more you pick the bigger it's gonna get okay so that's what I'm attempting to do because <laughs> my hair is not fully dry yet so it's not gonna turn out how I want it to but um, once day three rolls around, I'm going to show you guys how I pick my hair out once I take out the rubber bands because it looks much more better. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. So yeah. Then I'm going to take my dry spray and I'm going to spray it throughout my hair just to lock in all that moisture that's still there you know it makes my hair feel a whole lot better so that's why i like to do that so yeah that's about it hey guys so it's been like a day because i didn't feel like okay so i was really tired i didn't feel like recording and having my hair and I woke up and I forgot but <laughs> I basically did the same thing when I went to sleep and did the same thing when I woke up yeah so yeah it's 100% dry now nothing wet but it's the night before school and I got most of my school supplies ready so I'm gonna film how I wrap my hair Good evening everybody so it is the end of the night as you can see and um, so this will be my last video during the week and this is basically the ending results um, me and Mariah are also filming a back-to-school video which will be coming out very very soon so I'm gonna end it here tonight guys I just